Hi, I'm Amy. I was born in Wales and I'm a teacher. This is Alex. He was born in Ukraine and he's a doctor. In 2024, we decided to take our careers on the road. We're spending the year traveling full time and working remotely. Feel free to follow along each week as we move from country to country and give you our travel tips for each place. For the next three days, we're in Brisbane. We ate incredible gelato, did a Segway tour, sang the praises of the famous street speech, and randomly saved a cat. This is the third episode of our Australia series, so feel free to go back and watch the others, then subscribe to make sure you catch the rest. We got to Brisbane and were immediately hungry. We were staying by the West End in South Brisbane, so we decided to walk over to the West Village to find lunch. We chose Ichiban Sushi because you can sit down, pick whatever dish you want from the conveyor belt, and start eating right away. Bring a crab. How do you do this? Chopsticks? No, they just you just pick per plate at the end. But you just can like eat that, and then they like total up your. I think it's if you want something that's not on here. Oh, I see. The screens were really helpful if you wanted to check what the ingredients of a dish were or if you wanted something that the belt didn't have on it at that time. You could send your order to the kitchen from the screen and it usually came out within two to three minutes. You paid at the end based on how many plates you had. Each plate was four Australian dollars and 60 cents, which is about three US dollars. We went on the hunt for dessert and found this cute bakery with gorgeous looking pastries, but it was a hot day, so the gelato spot across from it won. This was called Anita Gelato, and it had a huge variety of flavors. Look at those mountains of gelato. Anyway, I chose the Cookie Man, and Alex chose the Pavlova with mixed berries. Highly recommend both of those. Thank you so much. It comes with a wafer cookie if you choose to get the gelato in a cup, which I thought was a cute touch. It also had filtered water on tap, which if you know Alex and his water, you know he really appreciated. After we were sufficiently full, we headed to the Harris Farm Market next door and saw a very cute section where you could bottle your own milk. My mom actually collected all the milk bottles that got delivered to her house in Wales when she was growing up, so this made me very nostalgic. We're utterly out. You can like pour your own milk. It's like a little keg. Four, two, level one. I know that we have reputation for always doing bike tours, but we're switching it up today and we're doing a Segway tour at night. at night. So instead of our usual bike tour of a city, we're doing a Segway tour and it's a nighttime one, which I think will be fun. Hi. Hi. Segway yes. Perfect. So it's just you two tonight. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll take you down this way. Okay. You guys been on a Segway before? Yes. Yeah, been yeah. a while, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. How long ago was that one? Three, four years? Yeah. yeah. Okay. After a quick Segway lesson and some practice handling the machines, <laughs> we were on our way. The majority of the Segway tour was spent along the Riverwalk and the Riverside Boardwalk that the Riverwalk connects to. You can run, walk, bike, scooter, or Segway, this path, and it has beautiful views the entire time. It spans from New Farm to the Botanic Gardens, and we started by South Bank. We quickly passed Streets Beach, but I'll go into depth about that later. We continued on to Kangaroo Point, which had a rock climbing park open to everyone. The rocks had night lights, so we saw almost every section of this wall being used, even though it was dark out. We continued on to Story Bridge, which was kind of scary, but really beautiful to see all the city lights. Side note, Brisbane does an amazing job of lighting up the city at night. We rode past some riverside bars and restaurants and ended the tour back where we started. Although we did have a little mishap right at the end. Mine broke. <laughs> Oops. So, 
my Segway broke. It wasn't me, says the guy. He says it wasn't my fault. But because it broke, it's, it's sitting right there. And our tour guide, so nice, his name's Matt. Um, he is going and gonna run and get like an electric scooter um, and like rent it and then come back here and then, what? Okay, and then <laughs> come back here and then he's gonna tow the Segway behind him as he drives the scooter. I feel really bad, um, but. Not your fault. Not my fault, I think. The tour is amazing. Um, the city at night is amazing. And there's so many places I wanna go tomorrow. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. That was amazing. Probably the biggest surprise of our trip so far. Do not sleep on Brisbane. It might be raining on us right now, but Just a light we were planning, honestly, I'll be completely honest. We were planning, we were like, we'll just hang out for three days in Brisbane in our Airbnb. And last minute we booked that Segway tour. And oh my gosh, we would have missed so many things. I'm like kicking myself that we're not here longer. We only have tomorrow. So we decided to come back out after the tour. Alex has work in like an hour and a half, an hour and a half. but we're just like coming back because they have this like resort pool for free. There's this, there's like a whole nother, there's like a whole other section on the other side too. But it's free and you can do night swims. Yeah, there's a lifeguard until 11. There's just this like, it looks like a resort. They have a kid zone over there. They have like a zero entry pool on that side. There's, there's this side and like, uh, it's in the middle of a city. This is <laughs> blowing my mind. And there's all these cute restaurants and plants, greenery. There's a beach. It's like a little man-made beach. Like that looks like a Disney resort pool. This looks like a whole Disney resort. This beautiful walk. Really, really, really blown away by Brisbane. Really sad that we're not spending more time here, but tomorrow I'll come down to the beach to work. It's only like a five minute scooter ride from our house. So anyway, okay, food time. Our meal was great. We got fish and chips and a beet and walnut salad. This is a really cute restaurant. It overlooks the free resort pool in the middle of the city that's still blowing my mind. Then there's this whole kid section. So there was the first pool, then there was the beach pool. And now there's this whole like kid water, really shallow splash pad. And then there was a playground as well. I think we, we rode by, I haven't seen it yet, but there's a playground as well. There's this cute little waterfall, some like water bubbling up there. Then there's this like, I don't even know what you'd call this. Cause yeah, there's steps so you can walk into it. There's just like really shallow rocks. It goes over there, it extends over here. It's like a river bend. Just cool off, even if you don't have your swimsuit with you. So there's also right behind the three pools, there's all these apartments and night market that he said is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And all day Saturday and Sunday, and then Friday night. And then all these beautiful lit up trees like lining the street. And honestly, like I would say of the places we've been, in Australia, this is the least busy. It's a Friday night and like obviously people are about, but I, I haven't got that crowded, anxious feeling that I got in Melbourne and Sydney. I just, it's great. And it's 75 degrees outside, no humidity. Oh, I really like Brisbane. I am so shocked. I'm so bummed we only have, we only have tomorrow and we have to leave. We'll have to come back. Can we pet your dog? Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. What's her name? Toasty. Toasty. <laughs> yeah, it's like toasty. Oh, you just yeah, it, there's there's some type of spoon. <laughs> Hi. Hi Toasty. So fluffy. so fluffy. Is it a puppy? Yeah, just three months old. Three months old. I think we're gonna try and find your friends, okay? We're gonna try and find the people that you own. We were walking home while well, we were scootering home. This little cat was running along in the street. And she has a collar with a bell, but no number on the collar. But 
it's in the middle of a city, so I don't think that her owners just let her roam in the streets and stuff. She seemed very scared. But I got her to come to me, because I'm a cat lady <laughs> and a dog lady. We're going to take her up to the apartment and take some pictures and, and try to find like a lost pet, lost pets of Brisbane or something and see if someone's missing her. I think they are because she's very, very soft and clean. We could take her to see if it, she has a microchip. I don't know if anyone's open any tonight. Vets. Yeah, um, unless there's like an emergency vet. Yeah. We're gonna keep her in the bathroom until we can find her owner. Yeah, you're a very pretty girl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> do, you go ahead and do cat things. Oh, well, there's a lot of toiletries up there. I know you're a cat and you're gonna like jumping on surfaces, but come on, off the counter. Let's go, get down, get down. That's my toothbrush, no. No, no. I guess I should mention, Alex is allergic to cats, but we're gonna find her owner quickly. She's just chilling. So, <laughs> hi cutie, here's what we're doing. They have Uber, like a pet friendly Uber service here. Obviously we don't have a car. <laughs> so Alex has to work, um, but I am going to, it is 10.08 at night, but I called an emergency vet and they said that I can take her there um, to get her microchip, or not microchip, to check if she has a microchip. So I've ordered a pet friendly Uber. It was 33 Australian dollars, which like, that's kind of expensive, sweetie, but hopefully we can get you home. The Uber is 12 minutes away and then the place is about 10 minutes away. So hopefully she stays in my arms while we drive. You're so cute. We're gonna find you home. Good girl. Okay, so the adventure continues. It has a happy ending. I took her to this vet and they scanned her and uh, she had a microchip. Her name is Twilight. I'm like giddy. She, oh, she was so cute. They are going to call the owners and then pass along the information. Like I gave them my number. They could pass along the information. Really exciting. And now I'm gonna get an Uber home. So um, Alex doesn't worry about where I am, so. She scratched me. <laughs> She scratched me a little bit when I was putting my seatbelt on. Oh, I actually am bleeding. Oh, let me go ask Alex if that's okay. Cause I'm actually bleeding. Hold on. Um, I just realized that she scratched me when I was getting out of the car. Is that oh. okay? Um, she's not a stray, which is good. Um, but it, she did draw blood. Yeah. I've had all my shots. What would yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like cat it's scratch? Like infection, yeah, or or a Bartonella henselae cat scratch. Yeah, Bartonella henselae. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Why did you call it Bartonella henselae instead of cat scratch fever? Maybe that's the name. Usually it's in kittens. We'll see. Here is my Twilight scratch. It's looking better. I think Alex just zoomed in. But because we spent unexpected money on the Ubers to save Twilight yesterday, we are eating microwavable chickpea curry for lunch from the grocery store. So, lunch is served. We're going to the pool slash resort, like the free pool resort thing. We spent the majority of the day back at Streets Beach so we could experience this incredible place while the sun was out. Instead of my frazzled explanation last night, I'll read straight from the website for a better rundown. Streets Beach is a South Bank icon and a must visit while you're exploring the South Bank parklands. Australia's only inner city man-made beach boasts a sparkling blue lagoon surrounded by white sandy beaches and subtropical plants. It's an oasis in the middle of Brisbane City. Perfect little spot for kids or for adults just to cool off their feet. Next to Streets Beach are two other aquatic spaces, the Boat Pool and Aquativity, which is an interactive water play park for children. There's free Wi-Fi, barbecues, cafes, parking, picnic areas, and public toilets. Streets Beach is free to use and is patrolled by qualified lifeguards all year round. The lifeguard's hours change throughout the year, so make sure to contact the South Bank Visitor Center to see when they are patrolled. 
Even if you're not a pool person, which I'm not, there are a plethora of spaces to relax and record your partner swimming all alone. And if you're tagging along because you're a trooper, there's free Wi-Fi. So you can sit and browse. Okay, we had our fun. We did the pool. We did the river walk. We scootered it. We scootered the river walk. Fun. And we walked a bit of it. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna go home and work out, then get dinner, and then do laundry, because we have to leave tomorrow. We have to do laundry and pack tonight. I'm so sad. We definitely should have spent longer in Brisbane. Yeah. At such a pretty sunset, and a cute view, and the cute table on our patio. We have three hours to kill before our train leaves, so we walked from the train station after checking our bags, and there's this beautiful little garden with a cafe. So don't get the cold brew. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't get the cold brew from the cafe, says Alex. It is um, horrendous. It, it actually tastes poisoned. But other than that, it's a beautiful little garden. We're gonna walk around. Apparently there's like an enchanted something garden. We'll go look for it. These trees are fascinating. They look like they're all roots or something. But then if you follow this back up, it's like branches that have come down and now look like roots. I have no idea what type of tree this is, but that is so cool. They look like they should be in like the forbidden forest. I was just, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say Harry Potter's forest. Okay, turns out Brisbane is a lot like Bali. Look at all of these. Oh my goodness. Hello. Sorry if my recording is bad. I'm, I'm looking at where I'm going. I'm not looking at him. This is number three. Hey bud, is it all right if we, if we uh, keep walking past you? Is that okay? You just let me know if it's not okay. Oh, oh, you scared him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm walking. They remind me of in holes. That's number four. I've lost count. You're big. It's five. Is it five? Yeah. Hi. I'll name you John. We're gonna name this one Beatrice. Number six. There's really no point in stopping recording because they are literally everywhere. Jezebel. This is gonna be Teddy and Roosevelt. <laughs> You're Derek. Hi. You're Donald. We walked around the Spectacle Garden at Roma Street Parkland until it was time to board our train for our final destination in Australia. As a hint, it has something to do with ginger beer. Anyway, we then said goodbye and see you later to this beautiful city. I have this crossbody bag, very popular. Everyone knows it, it's the Lululemon crossbody bag. And I have had this since it came out, before it was popular. I got it in 2018, 2019, maybe 2019. Anyway, I've had it since then. It's perfectly fine. I, I rest my arm on it all the time. I put so much weight on it. Alex wanted one for these travels and I was like, you should get a Lululemon one. And he was like, no, it's too expensive. It's $39.99 and I can buy one on Amazon for half the price. So that's what he did. He bought one on Amazon for $20 and this is a lesson to everybody because now Alex's bag after only so many months. Not in October. <laughs> Since October, Six now months. looks like this. So guess what he has to do? Buy a new one, and even if he bought the same cheap one, it would cost the same as the one that I've had all of these years. So we're gonna get him, we're gonna splurge and get him a Lululemon one when we're back in the States. But this is a lesson to everyone. Cheaper doesn't always mean cheaper. Sometimes it actually means more expensive which I totally get is a privilege to be able to spend the $40 up front to have the excess $20 and not have to buy it one at a time. I get that it's a privilege, but it's a privilege that Alex has <laughs> and he still <laughs> chose the cheaper one. Holy crap. No, Alex, why would you do that? He crawled, he did this to me. Alex, that wasn't funny. Might be hard. Zoom, zoom. Big boy, go fast. 
He's so blue. All different shades. Blue shoes. Blue pants. Blue shirt. Blue crossbody. What's your favorite color, Alex? Blue. <laughs> That's so funny. Tend to have a caricature drawer. 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 Say that ten times fast. Caricature drawer. Draw. <laughs> caricature drawer. Artist. Um, caricature artist. <laughs> An art. Caricature artist. Even that's hard. Okay.